the theme for this week is actually questions and answers. And I'm answering some questions from our own radio show host troops and also and weaving in some other questions from uh, a lot of the uh, groups that I belong to that are related to radio show hosting on the internet. And uh, in the first segment, I uh, responded to B. Hopkins, one of our hosts, regarding Stick'em. And now we're moving on to the next question, which is from Tommy. And this is from one of the uh, one of the groups that I belong to. And uh, Tommy's question is regarding radio, internet radio advertising, specifically selling costs and buyers. And the question is, do you have a salesperson or company selling internet radio advertising? How do you charge by listeners or is it by time? Who are your most consistent buyers, corporate, small business or international? And <clears throat> she says, these are just a few of the questions I'm looking for to get answers on. I'm also hoping to find either a salesperson or currently are only an internet radio but we are working on a couple of projects to syndicate. Uh, all answers are welcome, and all people are welcome to visit our website, blah, 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 blah. So Tommy, uh, selling advertising for internet radio is very, very, very tough. So I would discourage you to actually go that route. What I would encourage you to do is to get sponsors instead get sponsors for specific your radio show or specific radio shows and have them and and then on your network or on your radio website you advertise them but you don't sell them advertising you sell them sponsorship so that they support you and then in turn you will support them and uh, let's see what are, what are the questions you had you had yeah selling costs buyers yeah so a lot of people that are in um, in a radio right now looking at the the old radio model the commercial radio model which is what they have been doing for ever <laughs> is selling commercials and um, that is the only thing that matters in commercial radio or television if you by the way haven't noticed and and that model doesn't work anymore it, it is a model that that only cares about money and they will sell those they will sell their soul <laughs> to to uh to put a commercial on and um uh, human beings have been um, conditioned to actually tune the stuff out it, it and you know salespeople at commercial radio stations are still not getting this when I'm in my car and I'm driving down the road and I'm listening listening to a radio because I am in radio I'm I will listen to music but I'm more interested in talk radio than I am in music radio but I will switch back and forth so when I'm listening to a talk radio and commercial comes on guess what I do I change the channel and I guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of the people will do the same thing so go ahead and spend lots of money on putting ads on on uh, commercial radio and television people do the same thing on TV as soon as a commercial comes on, they switch channels. And uh, all the recording devices these days actually come with technology that will take the commercials out. So good luck with that uh, model, that model that is no longer